In South Asia, this is the first underwater tunnel. In recent years, it has also become Bangladesh's largest infrastructure facility. The drive from Chittagong Airport to the Industrial Park will be slashed from 4 hours to 20 minutes. When the tunnel is completed, it will be 9.3 kilometers long. The river tunnel's design service life is 100 years. When completed, it will join the two banks that the Karnapuri River originally divided and truly realize rapid passage. Its completion directly contributed to the sluggish Bangladeshi economy's rapid development. At the same time, 200,000 people's employment issue was resolved, and the locals gave the tunnel the nickname Father of the Nation Tunnel. However, the project is not without controversy. In recent years, the outside world has continued to raise doubts about it. Bangladesh has several Chinese-built projects. Before the rapid development of the global economy, the outside world believed that Bangladesh was being caught in a China debt trap. As part of China's One Belt One Road initiative, Bangladesh, which is poor and developing slowly, will want to take advantage of this chance to finish major domestic infrastructure projects. Bangladesh has historically been one of the least developed nations in the world, with low economic development and poor infrastructure. If you want to change the current situation, you must rely on help from other nations. Therefore, are Europe and the West the best option? While we do not yet know, we do know that Bangladesh still has high hopes for Obar, except for the Padma Bridge, which the Bangladeshi people call the Bridge of Dreams. The Karnafuli Tunnel is the most significant recent infrastructure project. It is also China's first underwater tunnel project outside of China, and its construction is not simple. First of all, the world has been hit by the new crown epidemic, which unquestionably has had a significant impact on project construction over the three years from 2019 to 2022. The new crown virus spread across the nation. The delivery of some construction materials that must be imported has also been delayed, and some workers have even been unable to report for work as usual. These setbacks are particularly detrimental to the project's progress. The starting and receiving of the shield in the water. Rich fine sand stratum are one of four major blocking tigers that remain in the tunnel construction process. Shield tunneling control in the iron plate sand stratum, upper soft and lower heart strata, and shield attitude control. China adopted a supersized, independently developed and manufactured mud and water balance shield machine for the project's duration. The shield machine is around 12 meters in diameter, 94 meters long, and weighs more than 2-200 tons. Due to the soft soil conditions, the machine is delivered as a steel sleeve, and it is then translated and rotated 180 degrees after being received to prepare for the second launch of the tunnel on the project's right line. The mud shield method, used in this project, is extremely difficult. Second, the tunnel's construction process. The rainy season in Bangladesh begins in July, and the summer's heat and humidity make construction extremely challenging. The Kanapuri River Tunnel Project Department overcomes challenges to keep the construction pace and advance the project as quickly as possible. By November 26, 2022, the last tunnel is expected to be finished. The Kar Napoli Tunnel in Chittagong City connects the east and west banks of the Karnafuli River by a river tunnel. When the outside world questioned Bangladesh's decision to work with China to build the tunnel, why did Bangladesh insist on doing so? 9.3 kilometers make up the entire route, and an 80 kph design speed is used. It has four lanes, two tunnels, a shield tunnel section that is 2450 meters long, and a tunnel with a diameter of 11.8 meters. A $780 million loan with a 2% interest rate was provided for the project by the Export-Import Bank of China. Next to the tunnel is a 727-meter-long bridge that connects the main city, the port, and the west and east sides of the Carnivore River. Once the project is finished, the Bangladesh Bridge Authority will be in charge of managing it. According to forecast data, the nation aspires to realize the model of one city and two towns through a motorway. Once the tunnel has been fully utilized in the future, of course, the convenience the tunnel offers residents doesn't end there. Once it is finished, it will be able to address the employment issue for at least 200,000 people on both sides of the tunnel's exit. In the first year, 17,000 vehicles will pass through the tunnel daily, and approximately 5 million vehicles will do so. Using the unused land to their advantage, the government and China have developed these areas into industrial or economic zones, build garment factories, processing zones, ports, airports, and agricultural development. Before there was a tunnel, it would take hours to travel between the two regions, 
and there was often congestion. Therefore, not only are local businesses unwilling to invest here, but even foreign businesses are unwilling now, with the tunnel transportation and logistics convenient now. At least 60 foreign companies have invested 280 million US dollars. Second, the tunnel has caused a notable change in the local tourism sector. Cox's Bazaar is the largest tourist destination in Bangladesh. Bangladesh has a long beach and welcomes about 10 million foreign visitors annually. Before the tunnel's opening, it still took foreign visitors two to three hours to drive from Shah Almanac International Airport to Cox's Bazaar. But that time can now be reduced to just 30 minutes. Additionally, there were no tunnels, so it took a long time for people to get to the beach, and they even encountered traffic jams. By avoiding traffic jams and cutting travel time from the airport to the scenic location by at least two hours, more foreign visitors will be able to have a perfect vacation here, and the tunnel will boost the nation's tourism industry even more. Third, increase cargo throughput at urban ports based on data collected after the tunnel opened. With the presence of foreign businesses, there will be more goods transportation. Future trade volume in the city is expected to rise linearly, and the port's cargo throughput is anticipated to reach 320 million tons annually. We now understand why Bangladesh insisted on moving forward with the project, despite international opposition, because it is a component of the Belt and Road Initiative and one of the important projects in developing the Bangladesh Economic Corridor. The tunnel will serve as a crucial link in cross-border transport corridors. When the project was being built, questions were raised similar to those about the Padma Bridge, but the locals called it the Bridge of Dreams. Thank you for joining us on this incredible tunnel adventure. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thrilling explorations. Your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for our next episode and keep discovering with us.